Guys, we've got a really fantastic shipping video for you today, a really fantastic lineup of guitars. Uh, we're starting off with the Solace here, one of our uh, Weisenborn style guitars. A couple of really nice X20s here. Five absolutely stunning firebursts that are going out this week. Um, seven string fan fret, fan frets are always good. Really unusual guitar here, 24 string. So check out that one when we get that far. And uh, a really nice selection of X20s here in the back wall. Um, some really, really special stuff here. If you hear some noise going on in the background, the guys are doing some final construction work upstairs in the new setup area. And if you hang on to the end, I'm gonna take you a little walk up there and, uh, and show you around. Um, so if it's your first time to the shipping video, again, I just uh, to tell you what it's all about. It's just the time every week where we get to look at all the guitars that we completed the week before, have a look where they're going around the world and what the specs are. And uh, I think it's fun for you guys because you keep watching every week. And it's fun for us because we get to see this beautiful collection all in one place. So, uh, so that's it for the shipping video. I'm also going to uh, answer some questions for you this week um, that have been asked. And uh, I'll answer them a little bit later when we get to the fire bursts. So the first guitar this week is going out to Robert in Switzerland. And uh, you might remember that name from last week's shipping video uh, because uh, this is the second of his collection. And um, this is the, the Solace uh, lap steel guitar. So it's a, a Weisenborn style instrument. And um, so it's a, a fretless instrument played with, uh, with a steel played on your lap. So if you've not seen one of those before, um, go to our YouTube channel and you'll, uh, you'll see how these are played. Absolutely stunning sound. And uh, I just love how they uh, work so well as an accompaniment instrument or even as a solo instrument. So um, yeah, really intriguing, something a little bit unusual. And uh, it's been a lot of fun adding them into our collection over the past year. Uh, this one is finished in black carbon, has the nice uh, rings on the inlay and fretboard and uh, the black carbon back and sides. And that made, matches very nicely to Robert's other guitar that we had in last week's video, which was uh, the uh, black carbon X10 slim line with fan frets. So, uh, so that was in last week's video. Uh, we decided to hold it off to both guitars who were ready to ship together. So, uh, so Robert, enjoy those guitars. So next one is going to Texas. Uh, it's going out to Richard. And, uh, and Richard has uh, an X7. And, um, oh, I should have asked which veneer this is. Um, it looks very much like Koa, but there's also a, a couple of others. Could be a Powell Ferro. Um, but uh, maybe I'm gonna check and we'll put a caption up just to confirm that. Um, looks like Koa, I like the flame in the middle. Looks a little bit like a Koa flame but it's a little bit different than some of our Koa stocks, so, uh, so I might have that wrong. I apologize if I do. Um, but X7 is our small body parlor size guitar, 24 inch scale. Uh, it's got the, uh, the dots here in the fretboard, silver dots, and a black carbon back and sides. And the pickup system that is chosen for this is the High Vibe pickup system. And uh, it's a beautiful guitar. So Sean in California, now this is Koa, and, uh, and this is unmistakably Koa, very characteristic with, uh, with the big flame pattern on here. Um, absolutely beautiful coloring and, uh, and a really fantastic flame. Um, I like how it's got these black sections at the side here, it just gives it a little bit of extra drama and um, an overall just beautiful top. Um, fretboard inlay is our vines and silver and uh, stands out very nice. Uh, with the silver, you get the, the little figure of eight on the 12th fret in gold. And uh, I think that picks up very nicely with the gold in the top. Pickup system in this one is, uh, has got the six adjustable Graftec piezos and the K&K &K Pure Minis inside. And uh, it's a really beautiful pickup system. It needs a little bit of um, uh, work just to get the right balance. You know, just find what you're looking for. Uh, but whenever you get it dialed in for your sound, there's, there's a lot of different sounds that you can achieve in there. Just, it, really can uh, can come to life when you use it properly um, through a really good system. Black carbon back and sides and the black hardware. And the black guitar. Now next up is Martin in uh, Warwickshire in England and uh, another X20. Uh, this one's Paul Farrell and, uh, and Paul Farrell similar kind of coloration to the Koa 
but uh, it's more sort of the vertical lines here rather than the flame. And um, just really, you know, kind of carries that flow of the strings right down the top there, down through the center with all these vertical black lines uh, that run through it. And, uh, and then the little bit of lighter wood running in the center. Um, again, silver vines running up the fretboard on this. And again, that, uh, that gold is catching very nicely with the gold color on the top. Amber back and sides, and then the high vibe pickup system. Another beauty. Now, fire bursts. So, uh, so it's really nice to, to have five fire bursts in one week. And it also happens to coincide with uh, us selling the very last of our fire bursts um, yesterday. So the fire burst, if you haven't heard all about it, was a special commemoration series that we did. We're building 20 of them. Uh, actually, I built 21 because I own uh, number zero. And um, so we, we put them together as a special series just to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the X20. And uh, so we come up with a really cool design with the, the, uh, the fire burst um, top here. So it's a quilted maple with a special burst that we designed just for this guitar. It's got the special inlay here, the ohm inlay. It spells out emerald, which is uh, really quite something and uh, the phoenix orange back and sides so it's um it's been a really special guitar nice to see them coming through we've all found some really nice homes and um and we'll look at them individually now while this is the the last the, the last one has just been sold of that collection if you want something similar um we are going to make uh the this design available in the future and uh so you'll be able to select that inlay it's going we're going to make that as an option uh, on the builder in the near future, but uh, even if you, you don't see it on the site and you still want it for another guitar, that's something you can ask for now. Um, it will be minus the, the 2012, but it will have the rest of that inlay. So uh, also the Phoenix Orange color and the Fireburst color is something that we're gonna be offering as well. So we'll have to get that on the 3D builder and get it added quite soon. But um, so yeah, if you want something that's quite like this, um, you'll be able to get something kind of similar it won't be hand signed and numbered and, uh, and won't have the, the special detailing there, but some of the configuration is gonna be available. So, uh, so this is the first one going out to, uh, I think Tom Eng, I think in uh, California. Um, not sure how that's written there, but yeah, I'll have to check that one. Uh, Danny in Oregon. Got that one. And then we got Mark in Missouri. And you can see, you know, subtle differences in each one. Each one's unique. Each one has a different top that was hand selected by me um, of all our finest quilted maple. Thomas in North Carolina. And the last one is going to Darren in Shropshire in England. So really nice to see them all sitting together in a collection. And uh, I think that selection of guitars really just sum up the quality and the detail that we're doing. You know, when I see that sitting sitting beside the uh, the very first x20 and i should have grabbed it and put it here on the rack but um just to see how far those guitars have come in terms of our refinement or quality or pickup systems or finishes you know it's uh yeah it's quite a thrill just to see how far our company has come in 10 years um so uh so thanks guys for buying those and uh, and thanks for having a, a special part of emerald guitars history so from the fire burst we're going on to next 27 string this is going to russell in michigan and um x27 string is really cool it's just something about it i really like uh, i especially like an x27 string in black carbon um i think it maybe it's because uh, 
I used to have a picture that was my profile picture on Facebook for a long time, but it was a picture of me holding one of these. So maybe it just uh, it resonates with me for that reason. But I just think it's a good look. Um, seven string on this, the low B is a 27 inch scale, 25 and a half inch scale on uh, on the uh, the high E. And uh, we build these now with the adjustable bridges, which uh, work really, really well on a seven string fan fret. Um, it's got uh, the dual pickup system, so it's got the, the Graftec piezos combined with K&K Pure Minis inside. So a uh, really nice versatile system and, uh, and that black carbon finish all around. Lovely. Now, um, I'll come back to this at the end. So let's go over this side. So uh, this is going out to, to Will in uh, New Macar in Scotland. Um, okay, so check this out. This is an X20 baritone. And um, it's a really, really special one because it's got the six graph tech piezos. It's got K and K pure minis. And it's also got a MIDI output. So um, it's a baritone, but with an extra dimension to it. Uh, with that MIDI output. Absolutely amazing piece of Royal Ebony on the top of this. Um, just, I love the, the patterns in it. Uh, I've seen a, a beautiful face just running in the center here. And um, with Royal Ebony, you just you always see something different every time you look at it. But that guitar really, really catches my eye. The, the gold vines running up the fretboard, I think work beautifully with the top. It's just that that's similar kind of pattern and swirl that just uh, really blends well with the top. Gold hardware running here, and uh, black carbon back and sides. Um, black carbon is always a nice choice with Royal Ebony. I think the black lines in the Royal Ebony, and it is like totally jet black. You see how it just runs into the, the black burst that we put around the edges, and then runs back in into the black carbon. So it just it gives it that really seamless look, and uh, very unified in design. So uh, I love that guitar. Then Donald in Maryland. Uh, this is uh, a piece of Paul Ferro on the top of this X20. Uh, the lighter color Paul Ferro, quite different than the other one over here, uh, but really nice colorations in it. Uh, that nice light wood running up the center, all the straight green running here, and then the, the big green pattern off to the sides. It just gives it a lot of character, and I uh, really, really like how that looks. Um, nice. Uh, just plain fretboard on this and it's it's funny the, the inlays have become such a part of what we do uh, it almost now seems unusual to see um, a guitar without an inlay but uh, and it used to be our signature was to have plain fretboards and no inlays um, so uh, so this kind of goes back to that and I really like that plain look as well um, and uh, just that that uh, unidirectional carbon just looks beautiful by itself uh, black hardware on here and uh, an amber back and sides and uh, again the high vibe pickup system and uh, as you can see the high vibe is really really popular there's not a week goes by that there's not a, a selection of high vibe pickups and uh, and for good measure and again if you haven't been following our work not sure what that pickup's all about go to the Emerald Guitars YouTube channel if you're not already on it and uh, and check out some of the videos just describing the high vibe pickup system um, Okay, uh, another Powell Ferro X20, and uh, again, quite different. Really just shows you the variation, even among one species. So if you're on our 3D builder and you go into Powell Ferro, you're gonna see all those different options uh, on there. Um, so uh, yeah, really nice pattern on this one. Uh, this little V just catches my eye here. Uh, the black V, the black grain that's running down here into this V, and then kind of opens out into another V at the bottom. Just those little subtle details I really I enjoy. And um, again, with the, with the black grains just running through it, catches nicely into the, the black fade around the edges. This one's got the silver Celtic knots on the, on the fretboard and a black, black carbon back and sides. And uh, pickup system in this one's got the six Graftec piezos and, uh, and doesn't have the K and K. This is just the, the piezo pickups. Um, so it's a mono system. So that's going to Bruce in Colorado. Then the last one on the wall here is going to Mark in New York. And uh, 
I just love that piece of uh, quilted maple. Uh, most of the quilted maple you'll see that we do um, tends to be just one piece, uh, but this one being book matched has uh, a really, really fantastic look. And um, yeah, it's just something about the, the way the, the flame is almost kind of running into this sort of chevron pattern here and uh, this kaleidoscope running down the center. Um, absolutely stunning piece. Inlays on the fretboard is uh, the white dots. It's got the black hardware. Again, high vibe pickup system, uh, black carbon back and sides. A lot of times with the burst, we, uh, we end up with an amber back and sides, um, but that one, that's really nice with the black carbon. That certainly works very well. So uh, some nice choices on that one, Mark. Okay. So I'm just remembering, I said I was gonna answer some questions when I got to there, but uh, I'll come back to that. Anyway, this, uh, this guitar is going out to Kevin. Uh, it's going to Kevin Kastning. And um, we have, uh, we've done quite a collection of guitars for Kevin over the years. And uh, all of them quite unique. And um, this is the second 24 string guitar that we've made for him, 12 and 12. In the past, we made uh, a 36 string guitar, a 30 string guitar. And um, yeah, he's, he's got a few others as well. So maybe I'll find some pictures and we'll add them in here. But, uh, but Kevin plays some really incredible sounds and, and music with these instruments. And uh, we build them specifically for him just to, to get those sounds that he's looking for. Um, I'm not actually sure, I should have had a sheet here with the, the actual tuning of this, but uh, it's going down to a very low string here on, uh, on that lowest side. And um, so he uses some very unique tunings, very unique technique. And, uh, and this actually has a, a cello end pin, so, uh, so when he's playing, he actually uses it played upright. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely check out Kevin's music and, uh, and find out a little bit more about what he's doing. So 12 string, both sides. Purple carbon on this, which is uh, really eye-catching and, and subtle at the same time. And, uh, and that black hardware. Uh, pickup system that we've got in this is, uh, is a special K&K pickup system. And um, so it's a dual um, K&Ks that he can control then separate for both necks. So, uh, so it's a very non-standard guitar and um, that's uh, Kevin knows he's the only guy who gets to twist my arm to build crazy things like this. Um, and, uh, and we try and restrict them as much as possible. So Kevin, I'm sure you're watching this. Thanks for stretching me over the years. You've definitely done that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna answer a few questions. And uh, so Chris asks, always curious about which guitars make it to the shipping video and which don't. Um, well, actually all the guitars tend to make it to the shipping video unless there's a very specific uh, reason why they don't um, you know like maybe somebody wanted a guitar rushed out and didn't want to wait for it or whatever but uh, but we attempt to put every guitar in the shipping video every custom guitar goes in goes on the rack I get to hold it and talk about it and uh, and every uh, stock guitar we put in the slideshow that we put on the end of the videos as well so uh, so we like to feature everyone and um, and I know that maybe in the past there was one or two that were forgotten about and I apologize to those people. Um, but yeah, it's our, our plan to always have them in. Um, somebody mentioned, David mentioned about the fan fret slim line. He said, uh, very tasty spec. That was the one we looked at at the start. It was indeed. Um, so uh, Stimson J Cat 67 says, uh, oh no, hold on, am I looking at the wrong? So is it, is it the name at the bottom? And the comment at the top, okay, so it's Jeffrey Milky commented this one. Uh, I can confirm I play my Virtual Unplugged rather a lot. Um, perfect for playing when the rest of the house is asleep. So that's actually good feedback to hear. Um, so a lot of people ask about the Virtual and, um, and really it's designed about its amplified sounds. But yeah, because it's, you know, that hollow body, um, it is an acoustic guitar. It does have that acoustic projection as well. So, uh, so if you're playing it with electric strings, it's not going to be quite as loud as, um, you know, say an X10 Slimline, but, uh, but the Virtual does have a good acoustic output. So yeah, that is a good practice guitar and uh, a little bit quieter. Um, then we have uh, 
a question about what are the acoustic strings that you recommend for the, the Virtual. Um, I tried a few different sets and uh, the pickups do not like bronze strings. Well, um, I brought a set here. So, indeed, the pickups are not um, optimized certainly for bronze strings because standard uh, bronze acoustic guitar strings, they, um, they don't have as much magnetic content. Now, that being said, I think you can still get a really nice sound out of it. It, uh, it just might be a little bit softer on the, um, on the bass side. But uh, what we do, we have these strings that, uh, that are made for us by Newtone and uh, they're a special double wound string. And uh, they, the double winding in this is, uh, they have an extra winding that has a, a magnetic um, output from it as well. So uh, yeah, so it basically with that double winding, it gives you that extra magnetic content that, um, that gives the pickups, you know, that signal but also gives you that nice warm sound. So there's a really nice balance and, uh, and we found them to work really well. So, um, so you can probably find them directly from Newtone. If you wanted those, you could contact us. We'll get the details for you and you could order them from Newtone directly uh, or we have some here in stock. So if somebody's looking for those, that's what we do. Um, what else have we got? Uh, okay, so how can a tone control be added to the X10 Slimline? Um, it's a fine guitar, but I feel that I need to adjust the tone on the fly without resorting to amp adjustments. Um, we don't a standard offer uh, a, a tone control to be added into, into uh, the X10 Slimline. In most cases, people don't really need the tone control, but everybody's got different needs. Um, if you wanted to add one as a retrofit, you could add that into the, the chain. It is possible to add a volume control, or sorry, a tone control into the GraphTech circuitry. Um, so if you find a local luthier that was willing to do something like that for you, it is a possibility there with that circuit. Um, it's time you guys start making the X7 and left-handed. I've been wanting one for a very long time. Lefties have rights too, you know. Well, here's the thing about that. We do uh, have the X20 lefty and uh, we sell about 250 X20s in a year. And we only sell, last year, I think we only sold 10 X20 lefties. So the reality of that is um, it's just, there's not enough quantity in it to merit making a mold. We've been thinking about making a virtual in the left-handed. That's probably the next model that I would consider making as a left-handed version. But, um, but just, yeah, the numbers are just not really quite there. With the investment it takes to make a mold, it would be really hard to, to recover that over a period of time. We have added the left-handed Amicus, uh, and that was uh, really through the kindness of, um, of a customer that, that paid for the mold just to get that one guitar that he, um, that he bought and, uh, and then allowed us to use that then as an ongoing model. So uh, it really was that one special customer that brought that whole new line into life. Um, so if somebody wanted to buy a very expensive X7 and, uh, and then gift the, the, uh, the existence of the X7 lefty to the rest of the world, then we would be willing to talk about that, but it's, uh, it's not a simple process, unfortunately. Um, so that's it for questions for this week and, uh, and some good questions there. Um, I'm gonna take you a walk upstairs and, uh, and then at the end of that, I'm gonna leave you then with our, our stock video slide through. So actually, you know what? Let's just, we'll walk live and you'll get to see what's actually going on. So there's Stephen with his hands inside a the guitar there in the background. And uh, so this is just going through our stock section here and we'll take a walk up here. So the guys are not going to be happy about this because I haven't given them a heads up. So, uh, so this is our, um, this is going to be our finishing area and, uh, and it's almost done. We should be in here probably working by then, I'd say next week, but uh, really, really nice space. We're just finishing putting up some lighting, um, storage section here and uh first of the the new finishing benches have gone up so uh so these are really cool so these are going to be our new luthier benches where the guys will do their final setup and uh, have all their tools and assemble all the guitars uh in the back area is where we're going to be having doing the plaque machine uh cnc machine for cutting out all the cavities in the guitars as well so um so yeah this is sort of the last piece of the puzzle uh, electricians working there, carpenters working, 
putting it all together. So uh, if you've been following this along the line, we're nearly at the end and uh, a few small details, but fantastic to be able to do that. So that's it for this week. Watch the slideshow of our stock guitars going out around the world. And uh, as always, I'll be back to see you again next week.